Okay, let's look at the Yumi rework, bro. Uh, this is this is the moment of truth. Oh no! <laughs> I wanted to go with, with the comments. When Yumi attacks and spell strike champions, she heals for twenty. Twenty to one hundred five health, fifteen percent health. If Yumi attaches to an ally within four seconds, they are healed as this as well. This effect is a twenty second cooldown, so it's Rakan Q. Okay. What Wait, it's like complete rework of the champ, eh? Right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Ah, so like it's not a attach and that's it. It's like multiple things. I think, yeah, yeah, like basically this is the passive. The heal will automatically trigger if Yumi is already attached to an ally. While attached, Yumi gains friendship with her ally whenever they kill a champion or minion. The ally with the most friendship <laughs> becomes her best friend <laughs> and grants Yumi bonus effects to her abilities while she is attached to them. What? Oh no! <laughs> what, are, what, what are the bonuses, so... bro? Imagine like uh, you get a good team fight with someone, but then you don't really want to touch to him anymore. You know, like you have a Zerin team, but yeah. you want to touch to him instead, and then you are like you are forced. The stats are too broken. You have to attach to this guy instead. <laughs> okay, I need to understand what this friendship ship means. How how like uh, close this it, it is? Okay, so Q. Yumi summons an errant missile that deals 60 magic damage, 20% scaling, to the first enemy and slows the target for 20 seconds, decaying over one second. If cast while attached, Yumi can control the missile using a mouse for a short period. Okay, how, how short? So it's not like perma, okay? Before it accelerates in a straight line. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Victory, but you can control it like way more, I guess? I don't know. What the fuck? I guess it's just like a skill shot, but you can like bend it in the beginning. So you can like move it maybe past minion waves and shit like this, you know? Yeah. But I wonder how long this is. Uh, the accelerated missile deals 80, 35% magic damage and slows the target for 55% for two seconds instead. That's a very big slow, honestly. Yeah. That is a big slow. Improving uh, with ranks? <laughs> <laughs> It is improving with ranks. What the fuck? You root people, dude. <laughs> you're, root, you're rooting them. It's not a stable, bro. Prowling, okay, best friend bonus. Prowling's projectile slow will always be enhanced, and hitting an enemy champion also grants them. Uh -huh. Whoa, magic damage on hit. Whoa. What the fuck? I didn't sense the, the bonus on hit damage can be increased by 75% based on her ally's critical strike chance. Holy. What? Well, this is kind of weird, right? But but I guess they wanted to make it scale the same with Ginzu as it does with crit. So they don't want to make people feel like you have to play like Ginzu ADs with Yumi. Because yeah. you lose your crit, right, when you have Ginzu. So it's, this is kind of a nice way of making sure. Base damage I'm increased by seventy five percent. What the fuck? But it's seventy five. It's three hundred and eighty on rank six. Wait, what is that? There is a the empower thing. damage. Empower oh, damage. Okay. I'll put myself here in the corner. Empower damage. Well, I need to know how easy the spell is to hit because if it's easy to hit, then this is really OP. <laughs> At least it sounds. It sounds like if you're good Yumi and you're hitting your Qs, it looks like you can 1v9, by the way. While on her best friend, Yumi gains an additional 10% to 10 to 20% heal and shield power based on ally level. And her ally also restores three... Whoa, she just gets a cull? What? Three That's health font on of hit. Life. Font of life? Yumi dashes to an ally champion and attaches him. While Yumi is attached, she follows her partner's movement and is untargetable except from towers. Immobilizing effects. Okay, this is the usual. This ability has second cooldown. Okay. Based on level, it reduces. So uh, level 13, let's say level 10, level 13 is like 4. I think what's, what's crazy about this is 4% AP scaling. Yeah. It's 4% AP scaling on hit healing that kind of but, mm. but I think you should play font of life uh, Yumi no so it adds up as well well I don't know like I'm looking at this queue and I'm thinking I want to play first strike and I want to play 
<laughs> I want to make money. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, yeah, for four percent AP scaling, I guess it isn't like that big of a deal. It's just, yeah, you 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 and your best friend, you have more healing shield power. That's that's like decent. So, but probably this is the spell you want to max last, right? It's like the gain of max putting points in the spell looks really bad. Well, it depends. I need to see. Maybe he's just useless. Let's see. Yumi shields herself, blocking. Okay, so it's a shield instead of a heal. Gains 35% attack speed. While the shield persists, the target also gains 20% move speed. Ooh. If Yumi's attached, this ability affects her ally instead and also restores 20 mana to them. Huh? What? Increased by up to 100% based on the target's missing mana. Clarity like that, okay? <laughs> Holy shit. So 20 plus 100%, 40, I guess. Okay. But this spell costs a lot of mana, at least, to use. And at least it's a shield. So. Yeah. It's like, it sounds, I don't know how OPQ is, but it sounds like Yumi is going to be pretty bad in lane. <laughs> because it's like, her her base stats, here are the two tips we'll get base stats later. Her base stats, if they haven't buffed them or anything, I think um, it doesn't sound like it'll be easy to lane. I'm trying to think who could actually use the mana, but I guess to some degree, every champion can leverage this if they are aware of it. The only weird thing is that it's like you're never gonna E your AD and burn this much mana just to give him mana. Like that's gonna be like rare. You're usually going to prioritize the shield and then the mana will be like just an afterthought and an after effect. Actually I completely forgot Soraka game mana. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Fucking like Starfire healing and E give mana. Like in Q you could Q the or whole wave. Silenced. It's silenced. Yeah. It's it was a point oh and click, God. silence. That was a P. That was a PS fuck. <laughs> Bro, back then, every champion could silence shit it. Yeah, I don't know why you would add the mana restore. It, it kind of looks out of place. I don't I don't see, like... It's too weak. We are adding some mana. That's it. Yeah, I guess. But inherently, it's I will like... Buff this champ. It just looks like Yumi is going to scale insanely well. But I, I like the fact that it's it's like a shield. I think that's good. I like that you don't get like just AD randomly uh, because it's like what was OP about Yumi was that you could attach to almost anyone in the game and they would just become a lot more OP. Like even if it wasn't like a big combo. So like you could attach on a Graves, on an Azir, or like a Kane and, and it's like just, just the fact that they got adaptive force was just OP. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, this seems fine and reasonable i like the fact that it's um like this 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 i compare more to like lulu you know it's like lulu is is buffing yeah. your ad and and that's it you know okay it will change everything okay let's see the final chapter dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yumi channels for three and a half seconds launching five magical waves affecting both teams if initially cast while attached yumi can steer the waves to follow her mouse what how does that even so she... wait you change the direction where you want it's like you can just point them and you can just aim them out of your champ <laughs> well, are basically but uh, faster maybe enemy struck a delve 75 magic damage and slow by 10%. This slow is whatever because you're rooting people with Q anyway. No, I'm kidding. Um, slowed by 10% for 1.25 seconds, increased by 10% per wave hit. Allied champions are healed for 35 health per wave. Excess healing is converted to a shield instead. Ooh, okay. Best friend bonus. For her best friend, the heal is increased to 46 and also grants 20 armor and 20 MR. I don't know, this this seems fine to me. Oh no, <laughs> this is yeah. going to be broken oh, on shit. Silas. <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, he has no best friend. Actually, oh. actually, it sucks on Silas. He can't attach to anyone to give the bonus armor and MR. <laughs> 
shit. True. You just steal people, I guess. And then it scales with insane amount of AP, and you are just uh, healing them to full. Jana ult, uh, way better than Jana ult. Is it level? So the 35 uh... is based, basically, I think this is based off a skill point. I feel like my, my first impression is I can see like cases where she buys like Magi's and if she snowballs, she's gonna, it's gonna be like unlosable. If like, if somehow she gets out of lane and your AD carry has like farmed and is strong, I could see like crazy cases for that. Like Zeri Yumi sounds like it can be really disgusting. If, yeah. if they get through lane. But what was OP before is that Yumi Zeri was actually a really strong lane. But now I don't think it will be. So I think I think this is fine. I just need to know how the Q looks like and how you can aim the R. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's like uh, a fast Velkotar, that would be <laughs> insane to watch, no? Like yeah. imagine Velkot is like super slow, but then you build... Uh, you can target in four different directions at the same time. Yeah. I, th I think it's like if you have a fully stacked Magi, I feel like the game is over, no? It's like, imagine Yumi has 300 AP, then... I mean, you Yumi just, is you... the Magi buyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 10% scaling on the armor and our bonus, and then the healing. So it's like you have 300 AP, you heal 45 more per wave. You heal like actually imagine you like get level six in this jump. Look at that bonus armor MR plus AP. <laughs> is like more than one hundred armor MR, no? Yeah. But it's I guess it's unrealistic to get to that point unless you have like <laughs> you just play <laughs> just, with Nyla. You let the enemy get rib and you get the soul XP. 